this is the third lecture. Uh, concerning the shape of the binomial distribution. So we will complete in this lecture uh, the binomial distribution. And now the first point is what is the shape of the binomial distribution. The shape of the binomial probability distribution <coughs> depends on the bar graph drawn for this distribution. The bar graph drawn for this distribution. So the shape of the binomial distribution depends on the shape of the bar graph representing this distribution. For any number of trials, <coughs> and the shape of the binomial probability distribution is number one, symmetric FB, B is the probability of success, equal one half. One half means 0.5. So the shape will be symmetric when the probability of success equal one half. Number two, the shape of probability distribution is skewed to the right, I mean positively skewed, if the probability of success is less than one half, less than 0.5, okay? Here, the skewness is positive. Number three, the shape is skewed to the left if the probability of success is greater than one half. Okay? So, the following examples display the shape of binomial distribution according to the corresponding probabilities. Example number 11. According to one survey, 60% of students in Faculty of Commerce at Port Said said that they prefer to learn MATLAB program uh, Assume that this result holds true for the current population of students. Let x denote the number of students in a random sample of three students who hold this opinion, who agree this opinion, okay? Find the probability distribution of x and draw a bar chart for this probability distribution. Okay? Now look. To draw the shape of this binomial distribution, put in equal 3 the sample size, P is the probability of success equal 60% and the Q is the probability of failure equal 40%. Why 40%? 1 minus P. Q equal 1 minus P. So the probability distribution is Put x equal 0, 1, 2, 3. Because n equal 3, so the number of limits equal 4. The number of limits of binomial distribution equal 4. So we begin with 0, then 1, then 2, then finally 3. 
and compute px where px equal ncx p power x q power n minus x so b0 equal 3c0 point 0.6 power 0 point 0.4 power 3 as we said the summation of uh, the two powers for p and q equal 3 always okay so 3 c0 equal 1 and 0.6 power 0 equal 1 you know that any number power 0 equal 1 then 0.4 power 3 equal uh, uh, 64 uh, divided 1000 or point oh six four point oh six four okay so this probability equal point oh six four p of one equals c c one point six power one point four power two and this probability equal point two nine nine point two eight eight sorry B of 2 was the same way, equal 0.432. Uh, P of 3 means 3C3, three 0.6 three. power 3, 0.4 power 0. This will equal uh, 0.216. The summation of all probabilities for this probability distribution must equal 1, like this. Okay, so drawing a bar chart by MATLAB, put x equal from 0 to 3. This means uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. N, the sample size equals 3. And B, the probability of success equal 0.6. So P of X equal binu BDF. Binu BDF. You know this function. Binu BDF. Uh, X n and b x n and b okay so x equal uh, from 0 to 3 n and b are the parameters of the binomial distribution n is the sample size and b is the probability of success so all probabilities will be like this as we compute it by hand then draw a bar chart by the function bar so bar uh, x and b of x this is b of x all probabilities and point four this is the width the width of every bar and G, G means uh, a color is green. The desired color of the bar chart is green. Okay. So this is the shape of the binomial distribution colored by green. The height of every rectangle equal one probability. Okay, so these are the four probabilities, and the width is 0.44 every rectangle for every bar. The width is 
point four. The function subplot. <coughs> if we want to uh, draw more than one chart in one page, you have to use the subplot function. Subplot. So subplot create axis entitled positions okay syntax subplot m and the n and the b m here means uh, the number of rows in the page of the graph n is the number of columns on this page, then P is the position of the first graph, the position of the first graph, okay? Subplot M, N, and B, replace means if you want to replace uh, in a graph by another graph, then put replace. Description. Subplot M, N, and the B divides the current figure into N, M by N, great, and creates an axis for a subplot in the position specified by B. Okay? So the current figure or the current page divided to M by N uh, grid. M by N graphs. Okay? So the number of total graphs here is M multiplied by N. So, for example, if N equal 2 and N equal 3, then we have six positions. We can put six figures, six graphs in this page. Right? MATLAB numbers H subplot by row such that the first subplot is the first column of the first row. The first column of the first row. The second subplot is the second column of the first row, then so on. Okay? So, uh, for uh, position B, you must draw the first figure, then the second, then the third, according to the number of columns in the first row, then the second row, and so on. If the axis already exists, then the command subplot M and B makes the subplot in positive B, the current, uh, the position B, the current axis. Subplot M and P replace deletes in existing the axis in position B and creates a new axis. So replace mean replace one figure by the existing figure. Uh, omit the existing figure and draw the current figure. Okay? This is the meaning of replace here. Example 12. Let n equal 4 p equal uh, point 0.2, point 0.5, point 0.8. So the probability of success 
we have <coughs> three probabilities. The first is 0 0.2, the second is 0 0.5, the third is 0.8. This played the binomial probability distribution for this probability. Okay? Using the functions subplot binu bdf bar and title, we have x equal from 0 to 4. This means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. n, the sample size is 4, and b equal 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.8 v1 equal bino bdf x n b of 1 b of 1 here equal 0 0.2 0 0.2 so if the probability is 20% then draw a binomial distribution when x equal from 0 to 4 and n equal 4 okay so this is the first probability of success b of 1 means 0.2 uh, you know that 0.2 is less than 0.4 okay so uh, as we said before if b is less than 5.5, 5, then the shape of the distribution is skewed. Okay? When b equal 0.5, the shape will be symmetric. When b is greater than uh, uh, 0.5, the shape is skewed to the left. Okay? So here we expect that the shape of this distribution uh, will uh, positively skewed or right skewed. P2, the shape of the distribution when the probability of success is 0.5. We expect that it will be symmetric. And P3, binary CDF, X and N, and B is larger than 0.5 because B equal 0 0.8, 0 0.8. So we expect that in this case, uh, uh, the shape is skewed to the left. Okay, so PD, PD means a table, uh, represent the axis in one column, the probability distribution when the probability of success is 0.2, then the uh, probability distribution when uh, the probability of success equal 0.5 and the probability distribution or the binomial distribution when uh, p or the probability of success equal 0.8 okay so look x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Five cases. The probability distribution when uh, P equal 0.2 equal uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.15, then 0 0.02, 0 0.001. Okay? So this, these probabilities represent 
uh, distribution skewed to the right, skewed to the right, beginning with a larger, uh, larger probability to smaller probability. So this uh, distribution is skewed to the right or positively skewed. So when P is less than five, we expect that the probability distribution or the binomial distribution is skewed to the right, okay? When B equal 0.5, lock, the probability, the larger one is in the middle of the probability distribution and uh, smaller above this and smaller uh, under this, okay? So this is a symmetric, symmetric distribution, okay? Look at the last probability and the first probability, they are equal. The second probability and the probability before the last one, they are equal, okay? So this is a symmetric probability. But when the probability of success is larger than 0.5, you will see that uh, the distribution is skewed to the left or positively skewed. To draw the shape of least distributions, we will use the function bar and subplot to divide the beach of the graphs. Subplot 3, 1, 1. 3 means 3 rows and 1 column and the first uh, position is the current one. The first position is the current one. Which one? Bar X and P of 1 and point 4, the width, and Y, yellow, yellow color. And this graph titled by B equal point 2. Title, you can use the graph itself to write the title and uh, the axis. But here, we will uh, write a title for everyone. So you have to command, you have to use the command title or the function title, okay, like this. The second position will be three, one, and two. Second current page. Use bar X and P of two point four the width and R red color title P equal point five and the third position subplot three one three bar P of three point four and G G is a green color and the title is P equal point eight. So these are the commands of drawing the three probability distribution or binomial probability distribution to know the shape of this uh, probability distribution. The first, when P equal point two, lock, this is a skewed distribution, skewed to the right. So when the probability of success is less than 0.5, you must expect that the shape of the binomial distribution will be skewed 
to the right or positively skilled. When the probability of success equal 0.5, I mean one half exactly, the probability distribution or the binomial probability distribution will be symmetric. Symmetric. So look at this shape, it's symmetric. Okay? Finally, when the probability of success is greater than 0.5, the binomial probability distribution is skewed to the left or negatively skewed. Okay, right? Now, how can we compute the expected value and the variance of the binomial distribution? In chapter 2, we provided formulas for computing the mean or expected value, the variance and standard deviation of a discrete random variable. In case of binomial distribution, with the given number of trials n and a specific probability of success p, the general formula for the mean and the variance can be specified as follow. Here mu of the binomial distribution equal n b. n is the sample size and the b is the probability of success and n and b are the parameters of the binomial distribution. So the expected value on mu equal n multiplied by b. It's very easy to compute. Sigma, the standard deviation of the binomial distribution, equals the square root of n b q, n b q, okay? where n is the total number of trials, p is the probability of success, q is the probability of failure. The function minus that, which give us the mu, or the expected value, and the variance of the binomial distribution. So, the function is binu state, binu state, uh, from binomial statistics, okay? Binomial mean and the variance. So, this function is used when you want to compute or extract the binomial mean and binomial variance. M and V equal minus that N and the B. You know that N and the B are the parameters of the binomial distributions. Okay? So, M and V equal binomial N and the B returns the mean of the mean and the variance for the binomial distribution. The mean and variance for binomial distribution. The mean here means the expected value with parameters specified by the number of trials n and the probability of success for each trial. P, each trial, P, n and B can be victors matrices 
or multidimensional arrays that have the same size, which is also the size of M and V. Scalar input for N or B is expanded to a constant array with the same dimensions as the other input. <coughs> Example 13. In one survey of Egyptian employees with different levels of income, Twenty percent said money does not mean happiness, but it may help. نقول مش كل حاجة لكن ربما تساعد على السعادة. Assume that this is true for the current population of Egyptian employees. A sample of 50 employees is selected. If X is the number of employees in this sample who hold the above opinion, find the mean and the standard deviation of the probability distribution X. Okay, to get the standard deviation, you must compute first the variance according to uh, the MATLAB program, but if you want to compute by hand, you can find the mean or expected value and the standard deviation directly without getting the variance. Solution by hand, N equals 50, P equal 0.2, Q equal 0.8, then mu equal NP, 50 multiplied by 0.2 equal 10. So the expected value is 10. Sigma equal the square root NBQ, 50 multiplied by 0.2 multiplied by 0.8, which equal uh, 2.8. Look here, uh, the standard deviation is the square root of Huh? you can replace NB by mu mu here equal 10 so you can replace NB by 10 by mu right because mu equal 10 by MATLAB using the function by new state the function by new state and SQRT, the function of the square root, we have put n equal 50 and the b equal 0.2, then use the function by nostat, so m and the var or m and the v, as you like, equal by nostat and the parameters n and the b. So m or mu equal 10 and the variance equal 8, so the standard deviation equals the square root SQRT of variance. So the standard deviation equal 2.8 like we calculated before. Okay, so we will uh, stop at this point and uh, I hope uh, you stay at home and see you later in the first in the fourth lecture Godwin thanks so much